Hello, my lovely Aries. Welcome to April readings. In today's reading, loves, we're looking at your finance, career, or everything regards what you are working for. Many, many of you know that these readings are general readings. For those of you who don't, this is a general reading and welcome and let's see what we have for you. And yes, April, it's your month. Many, many of you might feel quite strong changes out there. But let's see here from this point of career finance, what do we got? Career finance could be a job you are dealing, could be if you are an investor, could be if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a business owner, whoever you are, let's see. And definitely if this connects with you, let us know in the comments. And we choose this reading over the other readings. There's been quite a strong request to do more of career and finance readings. However, know that we are always there for you. Underneath loves, we do have the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, and Nine of Pentacles. Seems here Nine of Cups underneath. Good. Okay, so it seems here there is an Aries who struggles in this moment. Yes, financially it seems here that you either having a hard time because five of pentacles definitely feels hard time financially and you don't see how you can get there nine of pentacles speaks of there is a great improvement and you will have it and definitely whatever you don't see now when you see this video in just a few days eight of swords speaks could be eight days or in the first eight days of the month or within eight days you will see how you can improve that situation either that you are high in debt or you don't make as much money as you need to spend it seems here that whatever you can see now or whatever you feel stuck somehow there is coming a solution and I feel here this is quite a good one nine of cups because I do see here for those of you who struggle financially it's a great great increase in those first card we have three of pentacles star moon and the sun so look at this loves pay attention to your dreams first thing first three of pentacles five of pentacles there's something here you need to learn from this experience and for many many of you Aries certain things here you wished they start working out there and from the dark side of the story there is a beautiful side the Sun really speaks of a situation that you feel deeply in the dark it's coming to the light it's kind of the, at the end of the tunnel or getting to the end of the tunnel even though you feel like it will never come through for some of you it seems here that yes you working through the things and with the star you are quite hopeful what I will tell you this way loves many of you heard that only what I have it's hope the thing is what I learn over the time is hope feels like a beggar I hope this to improve I hope that to get from now on and I feel here for many many of you Aries from this month you will start saying quite a different way I have faith that what I'm working on is increasing, it's improving, and I get what I deserve, and I get the most of it, and extra. Because definitely being in your faith, you will get in the place where you are. 
not in a hopeful energy. The moon, what's the fear here? Five of Cups. King of Swords. And the Emperor. It's like there is a, an Aries here who... You might be a business owner. Like the plans you used to had in the past or learning to plan accordingly, or learning to be realistic into your business plan or in the business things, because there's something here you do, but doesn't feel here you are around others. Three of Pentacles speaks about work, teamwork. Nine of Pentacles is more like single by yourself work. I feel also there is something here that you need focusing on teamwork over the single, just one-sided work. However, it seems here that I see an Aries that are definitely might leave some kind of beliefs they had in the past, and it's a must to leave those beliefs. So you could work through and prosper over. The Eight of Swords clarifier, we have the world. Eight of Swords also speaks of, oh, I did that to myself or I was not able. The world really speaks of stop being negative of who you are, what you could do not do or what did not work. There was a real strong lesson to learn and it's time to move on many many of you indeed there are certain things that you need to stop telling yourself once you do that things start working things start shifting because always always when you say in a negative way or telling negative things for you be careful what you tell yourself. Be careful how you call yourself. It's strongly important. And the Five of Pentacles clarifier, we have Ace of Wands. Because what I'm seeing here with this Ace of Wands, let me see one more card, Ace of Pentacles. Because your life could change in a day, in a week, in a year. As quick as you let it go, that is quick here we'll move on yes there's something here also speaks about cut your losses it's okay something didn't work let's focus on what works and what brings us joy and whatever you're focusing on to don't focus on the i don't want to do it because i used to do something and fail on the contrary, the sun really speaks of focus on the positive. Whatever you are good and whatever brings to you will bring up even more. As well, I feel here emotion-wise, many, many of you Aries may be quite emotional or you put some kind of emotions. You know, businesses, money-wise, Yes, feels like uh, an energy, but don't dwell into the emotional side. Because King of Swords and the Emperor, these are a business creator, a business acumen, somebody who does something for themselves. And Five of Cups, yes, for some of you, you could be very much putting your heart into the things. And... I feel here that was not really necessary to do so. So whatever here, here is gone. Let it go. It's okay. Many, many of you, definitely there is a big change. Like I was in a dark and now I'm into light. It's like during the day, the night and, and day, it's changing completely in a different way. And for some of you, whatever 
you've been growing up now was a huge challenge or will be a huge challenge nine of pentacles clarifying really quick we have three of wands so three of wands speaks of those manifestations you put there now starts to show up for you judgment and the devil so now you got to remember that whatever you are just keep up but don't try to control there's certain things here you can't actually control queen of swords and some of you might might be quite clear there is something here you you could try to control that maybe maybe will work but you clearly knew you need to let it go for some of you Aries this is a business a family business for others of you there is someone here quite wise to you there's a wise person that um trying to tell you to think clearly or whoever is that person they are they're really guiding you towards the things and that is more focusing on the flow or being the flow see here the king of cups energy that when you are in the flow, you get more out there. One advice. So definitely here there is um, a huge change wise in Aries energy this month. As well, it's a huge change into the finances of Aries. But yes, there is something here you gotta let it go completely to let it go the advice for you we have king of wands actions to be taken as well I've, I'm hearing your responsibilities there's something here about it's your responsibility to get out ground yourself ten of cups yes and two of cups definitely here there is something new and have faith many many areas those who definitely had a business or have been in charge with something big it's okay to let it go loves because letting go you will overcome a very strong karmic energy and definitely once you do so and not being afraid to let it go you will start a new cycle and it's a quite a beautiful one because there is a new offer there's something new coming up for you and it looks quite 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 big quite good i feel here for some of you especially on the third week of the month pay attention how you feeling because certain things here definitely will change probably also because mercury retrograde starts after the new moon in your zodiac sign and that's around the 21st of april the advice from our oracles we have the druid hold the space and look at this loves underneath we have autumn release the world and rest release whatever it's not there for you for some of you hold the space really speaks off you know your target but i feel here there is a change into either the plans been done or have been done or the strategies so there is changes in those areas you might not change your business you might not change whatever you do you might change the way you approach it you might change the way you do certain things so indeed here whatever you do it's 
to your best. I feel here this month might start quite heavy, but I feel here will definitely end quite beautifully. So enjoy loves. Love and light, Aries. I hope this reading speaks to you or brings you the insights you are looking. If it does as well, don't forget to subscribe, like it, share it, come forward with your insights. And definitely we'll see you next time. Namaste.